Okay, my name's Beth Lunsford and this is my mini tutorial on using the Echovox 3 with um, my iPhone XR. Um, see I've brought up Echovox here and it's asking me for a name for the session. I just put Echovox test. Okay. Um, then I just go ahead and do all my settings. I use auto blend with about just below half speed sometimes a little slower this is what it looks like good size clip um, this is my reverb I start the reverb I am usually run it about three quarters and then um, these are my speeds here for the channels um, the XR is pretty fast so I run it a little closer to the middle than I used to on my Android. I used to run this on like a, a Volt, Android Volt, and it was pretty slow so I'd have to move the slide settings further to the left to get the same effect. But this is Bank A, it's what it defaults to. And um, I usually put my echo delay at zero milliseconds and then I start I start the um, uh, the echo, but I'm not going to do that yet. I wanted to show you my sound setup. This is my external speaker. It's just a cheapy one I got from Walmart, and I've got it set up with uh, a cable. It's 3.5 millimeter at this end, and it goes all the way up to the base of the phone where I have an adapter. I have a lightning to 3.5 millimeter adapter that plugs right into the audio cable that goes to the... I don't use Bluetooth because Bluetooth doesn't work uh, with Echovox 3. You'll get Zippo. Um, but you want to place your external speaker a few feet away from your, um, your phone, microphone, on there so you don't get a bunch of feedback. If you do get feedback, you can either adjust the volume on your phone down or your mic gain down to get the feedback to stop. So here's start the echo. I have it set to record. You can turn that off if you don't want to record on your phone. It's probably a good idea to use an external recorder so that you can load it onto your computer. Test, test, test. See the feedback? Hello. Okay, and then come back over here and start your sound bank. Test. Hello. See the feedback? I have the microphone really close to the phone so you can hear it. Hmm. I have the volume all the way up on the phone. That's it. It works. And then you can adjust your sliders to give it um, a conversational speed. It's a little slower than I usually run it. Let's try speeding things up. That's a good speed right there. They have to have enough phenomes to construct the words and sentences. You don't want to run it too slow. And that's about all there is to it. You can always adjust the speed too with the slider for the auto blend. Yeah, so you can hear what that sounds like. Okay, guys, think of this, huh? Are there any spirits that like these settings? I don't know that I have any spirits here right now, but 
that's how I would run it if I was doing a session. So, uh, let me know if you got any questions. Thanks.